Hey guys, guess what I've got? It's mood magic. So I think the proper name for this is thermogenic liquid, um, but it's just like the stuff that used to come in the mood rings that I would get when I was a kid. You might be too young to remember that, but if you are, have a look online at mood rings. It's super duper cool. I've done three different designs, so I can show you quickly what it looks like, and then I'll show you how I put it on the nail. So this has been sitting on ice, and when it's super cold, it is black or clear. I don't know which, because I put it on a black nail. And when you warm it up, it turns different colors. So my finger is quite warm. I've just had it in um, the hot water to warm it up. And you can see all the different colors. When it gets super warm, it turns blue. And then as it cools down, it turns back into the green and like a copper and back to black. So that's the spotty design that I did. I followed a tutorial from one of my colleagues. I'll put the link up in the corner there for you guys. You can go and check that out. And this was just a stripe down the middle that I tried. Bro, that's cold. That's also very cool. This is going to look really neat when you have it on your nails because of obviously this section of your hand is going to be warmer. And if you have a free edge, that free edge is going to be cool. So there will be like a, like a gradient of color changing. This one I did full cover. And it was very difficult because you need to paint it on quite thick. Um, it doesn't have as good of an effect, but I suppose it's still pretty cool. So that's those three designs. Now I've painted this one black so I can show you just how I did it. It come, I got this off AliExpress. There are more reputable places that you can buy it and I should mention that it is not tested cosmetically. So this is kind of like a use at your own risk um, product but I'm just putting it on tips for now and I think it would be fine so the person I got it from only sent me the tiniest tiniest bit the jar looks massive but it's not I can fit my whole thumbnail inside of it and then there's only the tiniest bit inside so I was a bit gutted about that I probably won't buy from that seller again but I'll put it in the links down below if you really want to check it out. So, as I said before, I tried it with a really thin layer and that didn't work so well. It did show up a little bit, but not near as clear as the other ones. Just put that there so we can watch them change. Now, where's my dotting tool? Here we go. So I'm using a dotting tool. I'm going to replicate this one because this was the most effective and easiest to apply it thickly. So I just grab a little bit. Look, that's how much is in that pot. Pathetic. I'm sure I paid three or four pounds for this as well. So this is just a cured black gel polish. And I'm going to put it right on the sticky layer. I did this. I used this the other day. Um, in a set of galaxy nails and that was really cool as well so the planets were made of the mood magic and this is not at all in the middle what's wrong with me today I really struggled on the other one as well to get it in the middle never mind we can fix it so I'm putting it on quite thick it does give the best effect when it's quite thick. It's not bulbing out or anything, but it is thick enough that it's covering the black up, as you can see. So I'm going to put some dots all over this. It takes quite a while to dry. I held it under a hair dryer because I was impatient. And that seemed to speed things up. Interestingly, when it's dry, the first time it dries, it's clear as well. And then once 
any kind of temperature hits it, then it starts to change color. So you can see these have changed. These ones are obviously very warm now because they're bright blue. And this one is very warm on the outside. And so the outside bits are blue and the middle bit is green. So that's all I've done for that. I'm going to let it dry. It does take, oh, I don't know, 10 minutes or more to just air dry. Let's see if we can get this to change. My ice cubes are melting. Yeah, you can see that it's changing at the bottom. It's going back to black. Back to black. But at the top, it's staying green. I think this is just magic. That's probably why they call it magic. Mood magic. Because it is like magic. So if you have a heat lamp from IBX, you can use that to help speed up the drying time or you can use a hairdryer as well. Um, it hasn't affected the paint in any way, drying it quickly with a hairdryer or my IBX lamp. So that's good news. How cool is that? We'll just do this one real quickly so you can see how it is with the shiny um, top coat. It's super sensitive to temperature. Let me set that down. So it only takes the tiniest bit of change for it to, well, change. That's not sticking anymore because it's wet. But cool, eh? When you do the full cover nail, you can see all the little streaks. Maybe you can't see them on the camera, I don't know. But that annoyed me. Huh. It's just super cool. I absolutely love it. So, oh dear, I nearly tippled that right over. I'm going to let this dry and then I will come back and top coat it and show you what it looks like. Okay, so I've been blow drying this and it's all dry now. You can see that a lot of the areas are blue. That's because they're quite warm. So since I matte top coated the other um, dotty nail, I'm going to put a clear shiny top coat on this one and then we'll be able to see the difference between the two. So you just top coat it like you do any other thing. Like that. How cool is that? You can see it starting to cool down around the outside edges of the circles. It's probably holding the heat there because of the blue tack at the back. So I'm going to pop that in the lamp to cure for 60 seconds and then we'll look at them all. Okay, so these are all dry and cured. I know I said I preferred the matte top coat finish before, but now I'm not sure. I like it both ways, I think. It's just easier to see with a matte top coat because there isn't any glare. Um, so that's really cool. I really like this product. If you want to check it out, go and click on the link. If you want me to look at anything else, let me know and I will give it a try. And if you buy any of this and use it, I would love to see how you use it in your designs. So you can pop up a picture on my Nail Art for Beginners Facebook page. Or if you don't want to share it with everybody, you can just message it to me. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.